Hello guys and welcome back to Chengi's World. It is on and um, popping up in here. Thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to Chengi's World. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the little bell, so I know it's for real and you get notified every time I upload a video because you know it's on and popping and it's happening all up in here. I am hoping in um, sort of February, end of February, to be doing more fashion, to be doing more style, makeup, and just keeping things a little bit interesting on this channel so we know that we can always tune in for some love doctor advice but we can also tune in for some looking good kind of stuff okie dokie some of you don't know that I'm actually a stylist and a professional makeup artist yeah I used to have a makeup channel but I couldn't keep it up so I thought to myself should I really go back to doing makeup uh full time like i was trying to do before and i realized that the truth is i don't think i'm passionate enough about it to do it all the time and be consistent but i love it enough to do a little bit on this channel and i might also be transfer some videos that i've already done some basic videos and eyebrows that i've already done instead of repeating i might stick them on this channel so look out for them um as from you know anytime soon i will just transfer the videos that i've done in the past that i feel are relevant and that you guys could really really benefit from i will put them up here because you guys are asking me for video style and fashion and it's on and popping right now i'm just enjoying wearing hats i love hats i've always loved hats i think women that wear hats are confident i think they're sexy and this hat my mummy made for me uh, before she left. I just love it. It's like a nice little beanie hat. It's just a beautiful color in the winter. Just lifts the mood. Okay, so you're like, can we talk about what we came to talk about, please? Absolutely. So today's video is uh, entitled, um, Give the Boy a Break. Just give him a break. Okay. <laughs> so I was reflecting on... Uh, uh, on something that happened uh, in a while back and I was seeing this guy and I am very sort of I've come from being miss I have no value no worth no self-esteem to being this really high value I, I matter I mean something and 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 I'm great and I'm wonderful and it's, and it's, it's been a journey and it's been a seven-year journey for me to get to a place where I really truly believe in my value and in my worth to a point where I would rather be alone for as long as I need to be alone until I find that person who recognizes my value you okay and i don't even feel sorry for myself so i was like talking to to this guy around the time and he was you know playing the whole kind of oh i just need to go and think about it i need to just think about it i just gotta go away i need to think about it i was like what, what? really <laughs> all of this all of this and y'all need to go think about it so I was really sort of uh, really kind of annoyed at the time. So I was thinking, I'm a great girl. I'm nice. I'm kind. I'm loving. I'm caring. I, you know, I, I do my best to look good. Like, what the hell else do you not think about? You need to take it and run. You need to take it and run is what I was thinking. Turns out <laughs> that I was sort of driving and I was really annoyed with God. I was really not with God, with the situation. I was talking to God in a really sort of angry, emotional tone. I was like, Lord, and I was thinking in my head, I was like, you know, I bet, I bet if somebody had offered him a million pounds, he wouldn't have to think about it. No, he wouldn't have to think about it. No, no, no. He would just take it and run. And it's really interesting the conversation I was having with the Holy Spirit because God was like, no, you wouldn't. If somebody came to you and said, Chengi, here's a million pounds. You don't have to do anything for it. Just give me your time and attention. You would think there must be more to it. There is more to this than that. I mean, who does that? Who gives away something of great value for something small? And that is because if somebody's saying time and attention is because I don't value my time and attention. So you are giving me something that I think is of greater value than my time and attention. And there are a lot of billionaires out there who are very lonely and would pay a million pounds to have somebody genuinely spend time with them and, and be of, of value into their lives. But you who was in this position is never going to appreciate that. What's going to happen is you're going to draw back. You're going to pull back because something is telling you this is too good to be true. No one does this. And so as I was sort of thinking about it, I thought, yeah, 
That is the truth. I did a video on this channel called The Scariest Thing. And at the time, it, it, the thought was, was it was still very much sort of on the surface, but it hadn't really sort of hit my heart. But I wanted to share it with you guys. So you can go and watch that video. But as it sort of deepened in my heart, I realized that you can be a marvelous, exquisite, amazing girl and a guy can act all kind of crazy around you, okay? Can act all kind of cold and distant and cut you off and you're like what <laughs> but sometimes a man doesn't always we don't always wake up in the morning expecting to meet our person we don't wake up in the morning expect to meet our opportunity our breakthrough when i do these videos i have no idea which video is gonna go viral who is going to watch this video and when they're going to watch this video? I make every video with the same expectation that I have shared a thought and that is going to bless one somebody. Even if it's just one person, it will bless somebody, right? I never uh, make a video with the expectation that, oh, and then I'm going to be discovered. But the reality is somebody is going to watch it and they're going to think, oh, I, I want to be on her channel or, or, or whatever, right? Um, but, and when that day comes, it's going to freak me out because I had a, a, a message from a television company, uh, called Ricochet. It's quite a big company. It's part of Warner brothers. And they sent me a message in my inbox. They wanted me to, to take part in a program. They invited me to take part in the program because they found me on this channel. Now that's quite a big deal. But I remember thinking, whoa, 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 uh, uh, uh. it just turned out that Nothing ever really came of it. I didn't pursue it. And I guess they were not used to people who, I don't know. I, was just, I wasn't in the headspace that I guess I might be in tomorrow or might be in now. I don't know. But I just wasn't in the headspace to sort of go for it. But I do remember feeling like pulling away and running away. And one would think you're being offered a huge opportunity. I mean, this is part of Warner Brothers. Why are you acting kind of funny? Because the reality is when something great comes along, we think that we're going to lurch forward and run for it and grab it and hold it and squeeze it and be like, I'm not going to let this opportunity go. But in reality, we do. And so God was trying to show me that, Chengi, if you can be presented with something awesome and amazing, and this is not the first time I've been presented with big opportunities in my life, and run in the opposite direction, you know. Um, and he said to me, give him a break. You are this relationship guru online that is building a growing, amazing channel. You are this woman who is elegant, who is a lady, who is kind. You are probably everything he wanted and more. And you are not just going to be cheap. You are, you obviously come at a cost and he has to go figure out if he wants to pay that price. So for goodness sakes, you know, give the boy a break. And so I felt that God was talking to me, but I also feel like he's talking to every single woman out there who has been in a relationship with a great guy who wanted, who was ready to move things forward. And the guy just backs away, goes cold, or maybe even disappears from your life. And you are left feeling, what's wrong with me? How come I can't? But sometimes it's your light that can frighten somebody, not your darkness, not your madness, not your crazy, not the thing that you said or didn't say, not the sex you gave or didn't give. Oh, I slept with him. That's why you buggered off. Oh, I didn't sleep with him. That's why you buggered off. You know, oh, I, I did I say something wrong? Was I not looking my best on that day? The, the trauma we put ourselves in. And then when we decide that that's not the case, and he's just a jerk. He's just a full-on, 100% jerk. That's what he is. And then we start to lay into him and create an atmosphere around him or for him or start to go for him because we feel that he has done something wrong. He, he has not seen our value. But it is a fact. It is because, in fact, he has seen your value. And now... Everything in him is questioning whether or not he is adequate, whether or not he can handle it, whether or not he can be what you need and what you deserve. And that answer might very well be, no, I just am not up to the task. I'm just not able to right now. And therefore, that means I might have to forfeit. And that's fine because that is authentic and that is true. It is sad and it's probably 
not true in his in his truth it's just his reality and he's going to work that out so a lot of the guys that we are really sort of being hard on and and finding hard to forgive and not understanding why they just can't see our value it's not that they can't see it it's because they do see it and when we see value, when somebody presents you with something of great value, you start to look at yourself and think, am I worthy? Am I qualified? Am I ready for something like this? Am I ready? And that is the question. And that is the, 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 the question that we all have to ask. So we need to be able to discern between the jerk and a great guy who just needs that space, okay? He just needs space to think about it. Now, you don't have to wait around for him. You go get your life, okay? And if in the process of getting your life, you meet somebody else, then that is a forfeit that he will have to take. But if getting your life doesn't mean meeting somebody else, it means getting yourself involved in the things that you love, the things that matter to you, and building something that is valuable to you, then, then go do that, okay? But give this guy a break, okay? Give him a break. Let him breathe, okay? Let him breathe, let it go, and let it flow, okay? So my message to you girls today is give him a break. Okie dokie. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and see me on Instagram and Facebook because it's on and a puppet. Hey, take care of you. Love you guys. Mwah!